Welcome back, Zero K fans! Sorry about that, I really should have put the delay on. That was bad of me. Alright, so, we are going to be... Well, we're going to be going pretty quickly onto Isle of Grief for Drone and... Ah, man, I wish I had not done that. Okay, so yeah, sorry about that. I really should have just let them play it out. Yeah, keeping in Lord and, Se and the winner semis can play it out if they want. Like, Group H can play out if they want. I don't really care. As usual, the only things I care about, really, other than this particular match, are winner's finals, loser's finals, and grand finals. And, well, these can be just played out. Are El Ferrero and, El Ferrero and Honu should be playing right now, hopefully. It better be. Actually, it turns out they, it turns out they both quit. What? Yeah, apparently. Ah, uh, there didn't have a game that was dependent on the one I was just casting. Oh, that, that, yeah. The, okay, the winner of that was going to play Orpheus. So yeah, so I guess Orpheus advances. Two, the, the Orpheus advances to play. The loser of Black Duchy, Yogg-Sothoth and Drone. Or, oh, okay. The winner of Yogg-Sothoth and Drone, and then the loser of that and Black Duchy plays Ophelius. Yeah. So it's going to be a while away. <sighs> We're back to Isle of Grief once again. For Drone and Yogg-Sothoth, which should hopefully be a very exciting match. Otherwise, I really would have had people wait for nothing, and I'd feel absolutely terrible. I already feel pretty bad, because that last match took forever, and, well, even then... It was terribly unsatisfying. Yeah, it kind of became a slog at the end. So whatever I said about Bandit Plains being really fun, I must have been thinking of Trojan Hills. Yep. Yeah, I, I do prefer Trojan Hills as a map, I have to say, but... Okay, so Drone and Yogg-Sothoth, neither of them have seen this map before. Should be good. Yeah. Wait, neither of them? Really? Apparently. That, I... Stupid thing, stop bugging me. Okay, so that's weird. I mean, they've been playing. Yeah, well, they might, they might not. Hold on, my spring crashed. Give me a sec. All right, there we go. So many things. Anyway, so yeah, sorry about that, but we have. Okay, there we go. So Drone and Yogg-Sothoth on this map, I'm not sure what they're going to go for. I would expect light vehicles on both sides, but who knows, maybe... Maybe jump bots. Maybe, probably not spiders. No one goes spiders anymore. Nobody likes spiders but me. And maybe Kane, but yeah. Very few people like spiders. I play spiders occasionally. It's, I think spiders are becoming more popular than they used to be. Maybe, maybe only in larger team games, but people play it now. I suppose in larger team games, just in 1v1, they've been unpopular recently. Yeah, I mean, in larger team games, it's easier to get out of Crabe, which is the, the, the linchpin of the factory. Yeah. I mean, I personally quite like spiders. Like, the way they synergize, the fact they have to use terrain really tricky. But, they're trickily, in a very tricky way. I like that. But I don't think a lot of people really want to bother with that. I have to watch, um, watch Cubo versus Laurie later. They're, they're, I believe they're playing that now, but that sounds like quite an interesting match. Mm -hmm. Wait, so oh, I see the loser of this play, Snuggle Base, and then oh, sheesh, wow. 
And but Snuggle Bites didn't show, so No Snuggle Bites showed. Eventually. Uh, That's really? what Snuggle Bites won against Stewart? Yeah, Snuggle Bites is here. No, no wait, what? No. Yeah. Kibe got Kibe Nope. Snuggle Bites Really? Yeah, look in the losers bracket. Group M. Well, yeah, but they, they, they both forfeited. Or they, not, neither nope. of them showed. So, I mean, you have to Snuggle, set a winner for it. Snuggle Base is here. If that was really? the case, okay. Snuggle Base would have lost Group O. But but Stuart, um, Stuart isn't here either. Who, who yeah, do you Snuggle Base the winner is of a? here. Oh, okay. Anyway, the game started. Yo, I, Snuggle Base is, is in fact here, I suppose. It wasn't here before, so forfeited against Black Duchy. Sorry, the volume control on this thing is being a pain in the butt. Windows volume mixer is... <laughs> well, the, um, <laughs> the mind games. Drone says in old chat he's playing jumps. Uh -huh. he's instead plops Cloaky. Yeah, Cloaky versus Light Vehicle. Which... I can see? Yeah, okay, I guess that makes sense. I I'm not sure where, where he's going to get a pathing advantage on this map. Yeah, I, I don't... I mean, I can kind of see if you're comfortable with Cloakies more than light vehicles, but otherwise... Yeah, jump and light vehicles... I mean, light vehicles is really the thing to do. Jump is kind of a thing you could potentially do, but not really. Cloaky is a thing that you probably might as well just go for light vehicles. Although, I mean, it does give you a better assault force. Like, a bit of a cheaper Assault Force for the mid-game. But then once Ravagers and Levelers come out, that advantage is lost. Well, I guess maybe that's why um, oh, Drone yeah. didn't plop light vehicles. <laughs> didn't realize the pathing path actually worked. But yes, it does. This is fully vehicle pathable. In, partic in particular, I want to see Cubay and Lowry play on Fairyland. I see how that map. Oh, so it's my map. I want to see how it plays. But like I said, they're playing it at the moment. I'll have to watch it later. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be the better match. I'm guessing because, like I said, these are the top two players <laughs> of the tournament. Well, actually, Lori, both Lori and El, El Torero were um, rated higher than Yogzoth in terms of just sheer one v one elo. But oh yeah, I guess. Kibo versus Lori prom promises to be entertaining, but like I said, I, I'll catch it later. Yeah, it's no big deal. Anyway, Drone and Yogg. This is still pretty neck and neck, although Drone's slightly ahead. It's just the question of how Yogg is... You know, I mean, Yogg does have the advantage of speed, really. But Drone's everywhere. Yeah. Right Drone has glaives everywhere. Yeah, these, these, two score, these two score design going to accomplish much, I think. They don't, even if they'll... I don't think... Especially... We, on the slow, slow lower ground here, I believe two, this two scorches won't kill a light particle beam support comp. Nope. And with a lotus there, there's no chance they're not going to do anything. No, you you need four in the best of circumstances. I think yeah, well, if it, yeah, if it wasn't if they weren't slow, I think you get away with three. But maybe that would be really tough. But definitely not two. Yeah, two, two and is not base it, unless, I mean, it. unless the commander was just not morphed. <laughs> wow, Drone really has not played this map at all. Uh, yeah, I mean, it did take me a while the first time I played this map to work out that, um... The water slows you down? To work out what that low ground was. Because, you know, you can't really see the water quite. Yeah. Oh, you can't? Because I can. I guess it depends no, what graphic things you have. If you have refraction on, you can see it. Yeah. Pretty easily. Well, like, yeah, if I, I mean, it's not that I can't see it at all, it's just not at all obvious. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I guess because it's also shallow, it's not going to reflect too much. Like the Fresnelling is going to make it really non-obvious. So fair point. But yeah, at this point... It looks like um, it's, yeah, the Glaive control... The glaive against Scorch control is hard, but you can win with it. Like, it, it is, it, it's possible to trade well with Glaives against Scorches. It's just hard. It glaives is. are actually, I believe, they're very slightly faster than Scorches. Yeah, but the problem isn't so much trading, the problem is that Glaives are still a bit frailer, and that if you screw up at all, like, the Cloaky player has to get lucky every time. Or has to play well every time. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah the difficult... Yeah. 
The difficulty is the glaives have lower range than the scorches, but at close range they lose because of the heat ray effect. Mm-hmm. So you have to fight in the you have, you have to fight in the sweet spot where you're in range, but, but you're not, not getting damage. pounded too badly by the heat ray. Yeah, but it looks like drones not even bothering going straight to warriors. Like just double yeah, warrior and assault. The, He's in a position now where he, mobility isn't quite so important for him with the kind of map position he's taken up, I think. Yeah, not to mention the the one time where mobility might be an issue, whereas that you know the back path is always where mobility comes a problem. That's got water in it, so it's not really a problem. Right, so Drone is sw- switching into gunship, mm-hmm. having built a storage first. Which um, makes sense. Exoroth has a couple of dro- has a couple of scorches coming in the left hand side, which could actually be quite inconvenient for Drone here. That's going to set back his expansion a fair bit. Well, that's probably what the storage is for to make sure that even if that happened, because it looks like mm. no, the gunship plant will get stalled out. Oh yeah, it's getting stalled out hard. So, so it's not like he's going. It's not like Drone is going to be able to ha- have the storage capacity to bust out a whole lot of um, a whole lot of gunships immediately. That finishes. No, I think they were planning on having that, and then they lost the metal extractors. Mm. If your cutter doesn't find the cloaking constructor on the left-hand side, that is less bad for drone. And I don't know why he's retreating the scorches because you could set up those scorches along, yeah, guess, the, along down the um, take the mexes. Uh, that left hand kind of yeah. You know, yeah, just make sure that the mexes just, are know. theirs, or not drones mm. rather. You know, keep an eye on them. And this moment of truth for the warriors, which probably won't be too encouraging. I, I, oh yeah, oh, there are three warriors now. There are three warriors. That's true. Um, I thought there were only two for a sec, but still, that's going to be tough. And with the slides coming in a there, of, I don't know. Um, there's a couple of sides running around too. I don't know what they're going to accomplish. If you, oh, yeah, this side is just showing itself. Okay, the side, the side on the right's just pretty Mini dead. suicide. Ran right too left, close to the um, slasher. The one on the left might get through. It might get I think through, can... but uh, what's it going to hit? It, actually, is it going to be decloaked by the water? Is that how this works? I don't think so. Apparently not. But I don't know. I don't know how cloak and water works. That interaction's a bit odd. But at any rate, it's it, it can't really get anything without losing everything. Like, it's going to die if it tries to kill anything. Might have been able to take out those two mexes. Hold on, what's the range on the oh, Lotus? Oh, drone trying like? to reclaim the Lotus, but apparently that's no longer a thing. <laughs> well, probably wasn't fast enough at any rate. That's true, it would have still gone up. It would have gone up half as fast. However, I guess reclaiming a building, you know, reclaiming an anaframe is no longer a thing? I forgot about that. I never even thought about drones, that. Drones deployed his rapiers, but they ran into a ball of scorches and came out much the worse. Oh, well, the warrior, it's in place. Yeah, no real salt in the main yeah, the base. Is the Scorch is going to have to run now. Yogg's is still the falling behind its, Sorry. The side's trying its luck against these lotuses. If it were not for the... Um, the, the water? The, the ground... The, if, it, if it were not for the water, that might have worked. Mm-hmm. But sadly, it did. sadly for Drone Scythe, it did not. No, it really... That's... That sucks, but the rapier's doing fine, so at least there's that. And also, drone is ahead economically. We have about twice the economy of Yogg's So, while their army may That's not the look that great, about, yeah. they can build up pretty That's quick. That's the odd thing about this water, that even though it is water, if you build wind on it, it's still a wind gen, not a tidal generator, and you can't build solars on it. I don't think. Yeah, I guess it's just not... It's, it's that weird odd depth. how that works. Yeah. Yeah, shallow water's odd. Because it's water, but stuff in it doesn't count as underwater. And I guess tiles require that they're underwater. So a subtle difference. So do we have the... So the rapiers are finally getting some work done cleaning up mexes on the left-hand side of the map for drone, but this slasher push from Exototh on the right is actually looking quite scary, backed up by the commander. At this point, I think that... It's it's pretty necessary. Like that slash push has to deal its damage because 
drone is still ahead. Like, they have three clan to work with, and they mm. just have a lot of economy to work with. If their overdrive is powerful. Their yeah, their overdrive is pushing stuff quite a lot. Both both of them have really bad radar coverage, actually. Um, drone only has about the the bottom right hand corner of the map. Yeah, covered by radar. Yogsoth has um, no base, and that's it. Does. Yep. Well, not anymore. I just lost that radar. Now he's now he's blind. Oh yeah! Wow. Yeah, I noticed that in the last game too. On banded planes, that Cube didn't really build radar. I mean, on banded planes, it makes a little bit of sense because it's so hilly. But even then, no radar really. Drone's throwing out a few more scythes to deal with these slashes. That could well work, actually. Slash. They have the advantage. That I mean, the, the strength of slashes is dealing is you know dealing the damage from range before anything can get close enough to hit them, which obviously against scythe is not a winner. Yeah, it's a moot point by then. All these warriors are well, I guess they're already pretty slow. He might as well. That seems to matter. Yeah, it looks punishing. Up there. It's like if the warriors could get in, if they could actually hit something, which they can't, because the water. Yeah. Even though Slasher's already beat Warriors to begin with, like even if it weren't under uh, the water, Dr Drones just run his ra run his um, rapiers just straight into Yogzothoth's base. No, the yeah, rapiers, that apart. Run, run the rapiers just straight into Yogzothoth's base. Bl it's blown up all of the um, all of the caretakers now. Didn't get anything. Oh, and That's a max. not gonna matter though. There's so many workers that it makes no difference. Like, the workers yeah, will be was... able to deal with that. They'll be able to push all the metal into the factory that they need to, and then it'll work fine. That didn't really deal it with It looked damage. like a problem that there was no idea there, but there's so, as you say, there's so many constructors, they just pushed out a razor really fast. Yeah. That's just seems to be how Yogstoth is doing it. You know, as Drone's going just into in events. brawlers now, which... Uh, I feel like there's an overcommitment to the overcommitment to gunship. Oh yeah, there totally is. I mean, the amount of razors that are coming out, there's already about four razors, and it's just... And all the defenders on top of that, and then the slashers are flex AA. I mean, the slashers are probably the Drones. weakest against the against the brawlers, but still. And crashes are up too. There's a lot of options. Right now, a Drones ground is the army advantage and the eco advantage. A lot of his army advantages in those brawlers, though, which aren't really accomplishing much. No, I mean the thing is, they're what they need to do is go back to ground, possibly just add an light vehicle factory, and then just go with that, because that way they'd be able to even know, things uh, out. Light vehicle or something. I mean, just some other, some other factory. That, yeah, heavy tank maybe. I feel like the clo the cloaky is no longer really working out very well. The warriors didn't do much. You can't really go into gla mass glaive against slashes. Um, the sides are getting some work done, but using but a main body army of sides is only for trolley team games. Yeah, that doesn't work here. So I don't. Yeah, I can't really see other than either heavy tank or maybe going for a strider. But that would be really committing. But that'd be all. Could be nothing. hover. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, off. scalpels. We were talking how disgusting they were. Yeah. Or jump for say placeholder. Moderator um, or Jack. Play or or just it. placeholder with anything really. Yeah. Placeholder with brawlers. Placeholders is a pretty good unit. Actually, yeah, with brawlers that'd be awesome. That would work perfectly with the brawlers. But I don't think drones are going to be switching factory anytime soon. They don't seem to be too worried about that. They're just... I think they're just going to try to push and win with what they have. Yeah, that could well work. I mean, this... This, this brawl... This brawler scythe composition is not... Is not conventional. And I think if he weren't ahead on economy, it wouldn't be working very well. But he's so far ahead on economy that... Yogg-Zothoth can't put together... Can't put together a counter to it. Mm-hmm. These brawlers, I guess those brawlers could, could and should have just gone and hit the razor there in the base, but at this point, I don't think come back another day. Yeah, I think we're just gonna move on to pretty over now. I, I think drone has it. Despite neither player really knowing how to deal with the water, I think drone has managed to get it. Mm. Yeah, Yogstoth, they have any other last ditch ideas? They have levelers. I don't know why, because levelers can't really hit the brawlers that well, but... For the scythe, I guess. 
That's they can hit swifts that dive on them. I learned that once. I'm sure they're scary in that regard as well. But still, I, I don't know if you remember that tournament. <laughs> no, I don't actually. That was, a, that was a year or so ago now. It's a two v two tournament. I I was playing air and lost my entire um, lost my entire swift force to a leveler, and then we lost. <laughs> it was really pretty embarrassing. Oh. I think this is, I think this was the brawler tournament. Oh, sheesh. Okay, well, I didn't see that. Or I did. I might have seen that. That was a long time ago. Well, you must, you must have seen it. I know you cast it. It was in the grand finals. But, oh, um, yeah. It was, a long, it, was, it was more than a year ago. This was this was during the brawler meta. Mm hmm. I mean, I kind of remember the brawler meta, but I can't really remember that tournament at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> like I said, it was a long time ago. Yeah. Um,. Well, it looks like this is going to be it. Drone coming in to, yeah, this... tear, to clean up the last little bits of economy from Yogg. Yeah. Well, you know, Zohan's building a bunch of um, caretakers up in the top left. There's a decent amount of reclaim there. I don't think it's enough, but I don't know what he'd switch into that would fix this at this point. Yeah. I think at the end of the day here that Yogg Zohan never, never succeeded in attacking. There's always That's drone true. coming to drone. Drone came to Yogzahoth every time, and, and like and some of drone's attacks, in fact, didn't work very well. But Yogzahoth never never punched back. Yeah, there was really no pressure and that, and on drone, was... and drone they did build a decent amount of defenses despite the lack of pressure, but they didn't build much. They went to naked expand pretty quick. So they, yeah, that yeah, this stuff down the left. Like, drone had run, if drone had attacked down sorry, Yogzahoth had attacked down the left hand side, drone doesn't have all that much on that side. But he does. I suppose he does. He does have the gunships, which are quite, which are quite good as a reactive force. But yeah, I mean, at this point, it's a moot point. But yeah, I know what you mean. So throughout the game, I, I guess. I guess I'd say yeah. It's also, not only the not attacking is that Yogzothoth has spent the entire game responding to drone, as opposed to dictating the game on his own terms. That's never a position you want to be in, unless you're really good at figuring out what your opponent's going to do, and then you counter it directly, and then when you have the advantage, you push. But Yogg hasn't yeah. really had the economic advantage to be able to get away with that. I mean, they're just barely now getting rid of the gunships, and, well, now is not the best time. <laughs> it's a little late. It's actually quite late. In fact, it's probably far too late. Like, Drone can just pretty much tear apart whatever they want to whenever they want to. And there's the light vehicle switch, because why not? Drone does decide to go for it. But at this point, it doesn't matter because they already have the game. I mean, they're just finishing it off. Yeah, but at this point, there's a pretty significant economic advantage. Yeah, so Yogg starts with the last ditch effort for Tridents. That is their one last thing they're going to try to do in order to get big in here. Oops. But I don't know how well that's going to work. My guess Can I is. Run into a <laughs> it survives on seven health, but. Uh -huh. And the Exoth's commander looks like it's going to take a fall. It just did. Down it goes. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and that's the control A, control D coming out from the Okay, And there well, we have game one. Game one. Huh. Oh, that metal used graph, that's, that's, that's some nasty stuff right there. Oh, wow, yeah, Drone was way ahead. And Metal Excess, actually, was pretty good for both sides, but yeah, Drone was so far ahead in Metal Used. I, I just... Wow. Yeah, because I've dealt more damage, and I... Th it d dealt more damage, and I believe traded, traded effect. Traded effectively, but not well enough to deal with that. That, that kind of just no. disadvantage. That wasn't happening. Well, they traded quite effectively at the start, and then they started to taper off and then fall behind. Pretty hard, actually. So now we are. I guess Cuban Lottery is still going on. Now we're going to game two, wherever that happens to be. 
be up to Yogg's death. Probably CCR. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if it was Kami Catcher. Kinda hope it isn't, but. Yeah, I'm not sure where he thinks. I'm not sure where he thinks he will be stronger than Drone. Or if he thinks that's true anywhere. I suspect that Yogg-Zahoth is better on an unconventional map, but I, I think unconventional isn't really Drone's cup of tea, but I don't know that it, like, it's not, I would, I'm not sure that it's a particular strength of Yogg-Zahoth either, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that Yogstoth is... I don't think they're going to go for anything too macro-focused against Drone, just because Drone will win. Like, Drone will win any economy game they play. And I'm sure Yogstoth knows that. Which means that they're going to want to do something a little bit more subtle. Oh. Yeah, they're gonna want to the worry. But yeah, that's the thing. They, what can they really do? I mean, I guess that drone. They don't get something too big. Hmm. Wow, Drone wasn't even paying attention, apparently, during that match. They were just listening to the radio. Sure, he didn't need to. For most, like, the, the sheer economic advantage he had was just a case of pushing it through. Pretty much, yeah. There wasn't much to if say. If he was paying more attention, it just would have gone faster. There wasn't really a whole lot of danger of his losing. Not by then. Sheesh. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'd say that was pretty tr that was pretty straightforward. Where the heck does it get the data from? Coastal. Coastal? Wow. Okay, that's gonna be quick. That's a tiny map. Yeah, that's unconventional. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I don't know, that seems a little bit unusual, but could work. Could definitely work. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, he's actually just looking for the smallest 1v1 map possible. Right. Yeah, I guess that makes doesn't sense. Want to give himself, doesn't want to give himself time to lose the eco battle, which... Yeah, I can oh, understand that. Oh, I see where it's screwed up. Wait, is Tiny, is tiny Skirmish even featured? I don't know. Hmm, not sure. Oh, Tiny Skirmish is not featured as far as I know. I'm fairly no, I'm quite it's certain not. that is not featured. Yeah, I, I just had to look, it's not. But yeah, that's that pretty much makes sense, you know. Go for go for that, because what else are you gonna do? Oops. So we'll see if that works. I mean I think it's probably Yogstot's best chance, but yeah, it's still kind of tricky. Because even if he wins this, he has to... Um, to win the series, he then has to win on Drone's choice of map, and Drone's probably going to choose Comet Catcher. Most likely. That's what Drone will always go for. 
Like, given the choice, drone will go for comic catcher. Oh, could be something else big, but so something along those lines. Well, Yogg's going for Amphib, because of course you do in this map. Well, in water maps nowadays in general. Oh, you, you can play, oh. If it was a full water map, you can go ship. Ship's quite strong. Mm -hmm. Since the buffs it got, but if you go ship, you won't be yet. We won't be yet. Maybe you can take the mexes at the back with your commander, but you won't be able to defend them very well at all. So I think yeah. this map, it's... Yeah, this, uh, and the, there are a few so many nice little cliffs to go hover, I think. And hover's a bit ordinary against underwater stuff. So Amphibious is pretty much oblig obligatory. Uh, nowadays, for sure, yeah. There was a time, like drone, but not anymore. <laughs> looks, like, looks like Drone doesn't actually... Um, is is not familiar with say. Yeah, I don't know what. I mean, people don't really like to play C very often. It's like if you can avoid it, you don't really have to play water maps, and a lot of people, especially high level players, don't like to. So I'm not uh, surprised. I, th I think I think C at the moment is in a better state than it has been for a long time. But for for a long time, like the better part of a year, the entire sea matter was you built ducks, and then you built more ducks, and then you built yet more ducks. Well, drone going for shipyard. It's not quite so true now. Well, I don't know. He's ducks are still pretty powerful. And... Yeah, they're still pretty powerful, but like, they're beatable now. In that yeah. you can, in that Hunter, Hunter beats them... Um, under some cir under some circumstances, claymore beats them. If the if you run a single duck at a bunch of claymores, the claymores will blow each other up, and mm -hmm. you lose one duck. But that's still a good trade for you. If your ducks are clustered and a claymore gets into you, you're going to lose all the ducks, and that is not good for you. Mm -hmm. So it's a bit hit and miss. <clears throat> and looks like first shot from a drone. Not able to do much, mind, but. A bit of damage. Tiny little bit of damage. You know, the sub oh yeah, submarines there one we go. hit ducks, too. Oh yeah, right, that was more see, recently the, changed. Yeah, I can, I can, I can see the ship's work, working here, actually. Yeah, the only downside it's, it's is going to... Sorry. Yeah, it's, it's going to depend on... Um, can your Xothar get, get to the back and hit, and hit that rear area where drone can't really defend on it effectively. If he can't do that, then um, drone's in a good spot. Yeah, yeah. Because I think sh it, it just on plain water, ships are a stronger factory than AMP now. Wasn't true for some time, but I think now it is. Because cru Crusade, or if nothing else, Crusader Hunter. destroys... You know, yeah, Hunter destroys... You know, um, most underwater things. Crusader destroys Urchin. Mm -hmm. Oh, Snake Eye was removed, apparently. I guess that's a good thing? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, I think the problem with Snake Eye, so the Snake Eye was it didn't take into account the fact that Snake can only fire in a forward arc. Oh, I see. Can't, can't, fire, be can't fire behind itself. Yeah, that makes sense. But looks like it. Yeah, it needs to be. Come on, get. Well, I gotta turn it around manually, I suppose. All you can really do. Oh, well, so much for that one. That really died easily. That died surprisingly easily. But yeah, it looks like it's going to be fairly... Fairly easy for Drone to get into this. Like, it, that one... That one death of the ducks doesn't look like it's actually really done much damage overall. And at this point, Yogg's off with the one island that can easily be hit by sea. So that's going to easily be hit by sea. Not by snakes, mind you, but by sea. So 
So anyway, where is... Why are there people in this room? Anyway. So... Oh, um, uh, okay. I stand corrected. Um, Q, sorry, totally unrelated point. Cuba and Laurie played their game on Zed. First, uh, not Fairyland. Fairyland's the winner's finals, so... Okay, well, we are going to be watching yeah. that because winner's <laughs> finals we have to watch since it's a blocking match. Yeah. As it turns out, I still can't read um, double elimination brackets. But well, that's anyway. this challenge does them wrong, frankly. So yeah. Although that's also Wait. why Lodi, or sorry, Anarchy and Lodi, they basically set up their map list based on the challenge brackets because at least that way, someone knows. Like there, there is one way of referencing mm. it. Yeah. So back, back to the game in question. Drones pushing out a. Um, Crusader now, which is, should just clean up all that the should end the game. That we so. should be on to the next <laughs> series, I suppose. How far along is QB versus Lodi? Um, I think they're in game two. Okay, well, I'll just watch Drone and Black Tattoo then. Hello. Oh. Oh, hello. Hey, sorry, we're kind of. I think he's. Hold on. I'm watching he's watching this game. Okay. <laughs> the body crasher. Anyways, yeah, well, the, the Crusader is going to take a while to win the game. It's not perfectly accurate, especially with the I think this radar wobble coming in there. Okay, once some vision is gone, then and it looks at exactly what's going to happen. It's more so that there's not yeah. much else that Yogstoth can do. Although they have gunships now, mm. that that's of some use. Mm. I'm not sure how effective that's going to be because the the moment. Drone sees it. He has two constructors. He can push out a razor, and then Shredder is all, actually just, actually he's just building a Shredder now. Did they see the gunship switch? I don't think so. No, there's no there's no evidence that they actually have any knowledge of gunships. I guess it's just a blind Shredder. That's yeah, it's, 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 it's a, just hard read. It's a good read though. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Dexter hasn't shown much of anything for a while. It's. Quite, yeah, and quite it's, possible it's six minutes that, into but... the game. If your opponent hasn't shown anything on a small map six minutes in, they've probably gone for an air switch. Anyway, drone at this point. Just end it. There's so much to say about this game. <laughs> Yeah, the, the Crusade is just going to push through. Just end it. Just... This is... Well, well, we'll see. Maybe... Oh, five maybe rapiers, rapiers probably kills a Shredder, actually. Yeah, maybe the Rapiers make this interesting, but I don't think so. He's backed off with him. He doesn't... The problem is he has to chase the Shredder. Yeah, that's a bit of a pain. <sighs> Well, the sh and the shredder moves only slightly. The shredder moves slightly faster. Sorry, not the shredder. The, the rapiers move slightly yeah, faster. And the crusaders are the shredder. Will, the shredder help. will get all the way across the map, tanking the rapier shots mm. and trying to hit them for some odd reason. Trying futilely sure. to actually shoot at them. Hmm. So at this point, it looks like it's... There we go, I think Drone has this. Oh, the Yogg well, Yog got He's... 40... What the heck? Yogg with 40 metal, wind oh, thanks kick. to Reclaim. No, no, wait. No, no, wind. No, it's, it's low. Reclaim. It's Reclaim. Yeah, right. that was all Reclaim. It was all excess, too, so that was a bit of a waste. Yeah, Drone's built his, um... Geo. Yeah, so that's all the overdrive right. for Drone. Mm. I was just trying to make something happen with, happen with these um, rapiers, but there's, there's just no way to get around on this map. Well, that's the thing. That's always been curious why they went for coastal because this map, it once you get an advantage, it's completely favoring you, unless you can't hold the advantage. But it's such a linear yeah, map. It, <sighs> there's no room to move around. I, if you if you had walked into this map with a plan, like. Um, but I'm not sure he really did. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, so I don't know. I think it's going to be kind of embarrassing. But yeah, I don't know what... I think the only thing they might have planned well, would have been to try to rush with lo losing, losing a 1v1 to the number one ranked 1v1 player isn't embarrassing as such. But <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. I see your point. But yeah, it's like you chose this map of all the maps of a particularly awkward map that you basically chose because you figured it would work really well as a matchup win. But I mean, it's this is a tough. Like, it is a tough call. What, what are you supposed to take against someone who's really good at macro? Like the only thing that drone I find is weak get, and this is only really true when fighting someone of like Dota tier, is losing their units. Drone is not the most careful with their units, but that's only <laughs> relevant if you're clone or Golda or someone who is super careful with their units and also has the economy to back it up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Drone's not the most creative player, not the most, not, you know, not, not the most micro-oriented player, but the macro just kills you. Yeah. There's, there's no way around that. So yeah, the only way I've seen people win is to match the stuff. micro and then beat, match the macro and beat the micro. Which I've seen many times. It's just that Yogstoth's not going to be doing that. Not in this map. And last ditch Grizzly, I don't see the point because I don't think Grizzlies work underwater. Well, they could blow up to the surface. That's true. And the Grizzly probably. Grizzly could well do okay against Crusader, but at this stage. With three Crusaders? I don't know. Just, yeah, maybe. I, I don't know. And five Rapiers? He's delaying the inevitable either way. Well, seven Rapiers, I mean, but yeah. It really is. Grizzly, Grizzly nearly knocks out a Crusader in a single shot. Very nearly. Does it flow? It does need to actually... It, oh, it does, yeah. Yeah, it's 1500 damage. It does need to actually get that shot off, though. And Drone's gone into gunship as well. Which... Very hard in the gunship. Before I just terminate this. Yeah, this is basically... I mean, Yash Dutch Commander is about to go down, and then afterwards, it's, there's no economy left. Yeah, there's 10 metal left. And the Grizzly's not... Well, yep. If the Grizzly's the only hope, the Grizzly's the only hope, but the Grizzly wins it, that's the only way it's going to win it. But he's just going to... Like, the Grizzly... I suppose the Grizzly's actually not that terrible against Rapier, but not that many Rapiers. The Rapier's just going to kill all the economy, and then there's... There's just not... Yeah, there's nothing to build. Nothing more to be built. Okay, how many Crusaders are left? It looks like all three of them are still alive. Yeah, all three of them are still very much alive. Yeah, the Grizzly hasn't really been shooting at them, it's been shooting at other stuff, like the Avengers. Urchins. Yeah. Although at least if they kill the Urchins, that does open the doors a little bit for Ducks, and for Anglers. But this Grizzly is not being targeted, why is it not being targeted? Oh, Yogstoth has no radar, that's why. They actually have no idea where the Crusaders are. Whereas Drone, on the other hand, has pretty much full vision. Yep, and there goes the Grizzly, and there, there goes, goes the Control, a, control D. Yep. Game over. So they're pretty even on metal into the last half of the game, and... Mm. Oh, wow, no, never mind. They were... They had used about the same amount, but so much excess by the end. Like, Yogg'Soth, I mean, it's true, Yogg'Soth actually did stall on energy very quickly, because they only went for wind on a map that has no wind. Or very unreliable wind. So yeah, that was that. So in Cuba, so in Cuba versus Laurie, um, Cuba won game one on Zed in about twelve minutes, and then Laurie took down Cuba on Red Comet in about twelve minutes. So they're on. They're currently in game three on. Is that a, what's that map called? So the, the one with the lava in the middle that you can walk on with spiders. Oh, Tartarus. Oh, wait, no, it's Kaleo. Never mind. Okay, so... So I guess we either jump into that game three of Q-Bay, Laurie, no, I think it's or watch, wait for... Watch Drone and Black Duchy. Right. You know, I don't think there's anything else running at the moment, although there's Snuggle Base against Jogzotov in um, Loser's Bracket. Mm-hmm.
Well, I think well, drone, I, I prefer to watch winners until Probably that's said. all done. So fair enough. Yeah, go with that. That will be probably fine for now. Speech. Huh. All right. Well, that's yeah. So that's that. Where's the? Was that up? So we're on to Zed. We I'll be back in a minute.